Why do some artists who have a certain amount of talent, some not very much, why do they get picked up by the corporations to become these big influencers of, uh, of young people and other people through the entertainment and the music uh, industry, and others with incredible talent never get off the ground? It's because they are chosen. Most people still today think that all entertainment is there for nothing more than their entertainment. It never ever was that case. What we see here is that this is actually all based up into psychological warfare done by military intelligence wrapped up with occultism. Disney World looks like a whole fun bunch of rides, but what we actually have here are a number of rides that are sponsored by military industrial corporations happiest place on earth, my snow white ass. Walt Disney was hired by J. Edgar Hoover to, to instill mind pattern programming into the children. It was an FBI plan. It was, it was uh, instigated. To really um, appreciate how this could be done, you need to appreciate something called trauma-based mind control. During the last war in the concentration camps of Germany, they started to perfect the manipulation of a natural mechanism in the mind that shuts out trauma. If you could systematically traumatize someone and start with children, particularly um, before the age of five and six, you could turn their minds into a honeycomb of self-contained compartments, none of which was aware of the other's existence. They start with, uh, they start with wanting to make you an obedient slave at first, and so they do a lot of sensory deprivation, they do a lot of sensory overload and they switch between the two and they do out and out torture. They take a small child and uh, they electroshock, in my case it was electroshock to the brain. I've had drugs uh, injected into my body so that my nerves were just like on fire and then they would just touch me. They kept me awake for many hours at night, would not let me sleep. They do use cattle prods on people uh, in torturing them, and they do use electrical stimulation to the genitals uh, and also on the teeth. I was made to eat my own feces as a little child. I was made to drink my own urine. I was not allowed to go to the bathroom. I was placed in a sensory deprivation tank. I had my shoulders, my knees, my toes, and my fingers, my elbows dislocated and then put back into place. I have had my eyelids taped open. I saw uh, games of Russian roulette played where it was chosen beforehand that a child would die and the child would put the gun up to his head and pull the trigger and this child would end up dying but it was meant to uh, scare all of us, it would keep us in terror. Disney is used as a, a torture device to compartmentalize and bring about this dissociative identity disorder. We've got these list of Mouseketeers. We've got Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Justin Timberlake. These were all poor little children that were brainwashed together in a Disney program. What they will do is use these people in high profile rituals. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. But there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. don't believe that they're really pulling energy and power into their phallus and energizing themselves to be god men uh, they believe it. actually right now we should talk a little about uh, tom cruise and scientology scientology according to l ron hubbard jr is, is a, a black ritual done over a long period of time instead of
of getting all your trauma at once, you get it in little increments. This footage is worth money. Why? What footage? This thing you're looking into? It's a camera. Exactly. Britney Spears created quite a commotion here at this tattoo parlor in Sherman Oaks tonight when she showed up, well, let's just say with a whole new look that may not be so popular with her fans. They aren't just pop stars trying to cry out for attention. These are people that have been put through abuse throughout their lives and raised in this environment that we can't even imagine. There is breaking news now on Fox News Channel. The Los Angeles Times and the Associated Press are now reporting. Michael Jackson has died in Los Angeles this afternoon. And of course we know that the Jacksons were also ritually abused. Really it's a tragedy at the end of the day. That is the type of creature that his father produced. You just said that you would practice the dance steps and your father would be holding a belt in his hand. Is that yeah. what you just said? Yes. Yeah. He would tear you up if you missed. I know what evil looks like, folks, and I'm telling you, that's an evil man. And the whole thing is an evil spectacle. So I finally got my own TV show coming out next fall on CBS. It's a half-hour weekly show that I will host entitled Let's Hunt and Kill Billy Ray Cyrus. It's a fairly self-explanatory plot. Uh, each week we let the hounds of hell loose and we chase that jarhead, no talent, cracker asshole all over the globe. <laughs> Until I finally catch that fruity little ponytail of his in the back, pull him to his knees, put a shotgun in his mouth like a big black cock of death. <laughs> That's how we sell sex to little girls! <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. President. I come to you today representing families. So why have claimed to be too busy to even acknowledge Sheen's letter, never mind meet with Sheen. But obviously he's not too busy to talk about some uh, mindless antics of this hip-hop star jumping on stage at an MTV Music Awards show. He's a jackass. In fact, Obama routinely makes mindless comments about everything under the sun. And yet he can't even acknowledge questions that are shared by the 9-11 victims' family members that are put out in this letter by Charlie Sheen. I, you, know, I, you know, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this bloody morality. There was moral outrage in America. It's disgusting, Janet Jackson. Immoral! I wonder which of these pictures is more sodden immoral. Welcome to the X Factor. Your final starts right here. They've been programmed. And I'm sad because I know that it's hard for people like that to take a serious interest in world affairs. I see how easy it is for the masses to be manipulated. It's a psychic weapon to blind people from all the majesty and beauty that is creation and to blind people from their families and their children and just the amazing life force that's all around us. The scale and fine detail in which these opinion formers right across society from entertainment, media, through to politics, etc. are actually uh, brought through from childhood to do those things absolutely incredible and when when the, the lid really comes off this and it will it's coming off then people are going to look at the world they've been living in and see just even if people now think yes it's a controlled world whoa wait till you see the level of control we're standing up to the drama that they do bring just check the left hand see the g-ring and mock rituals what are they unleashing masonic rituals live on tv it's all been exposed the Matrix is everywhere. 
It is all around us. You can see it when you turn on your television. It is the world 